So when we talk about childhood, we associate it with innocence, right? We immediately think of uh, little children. But as I've discussed earlier with you, some people, they grow up, but what is there along with them? Or what do we notice about them? Their innocence. This is, it is because we have not been exposed to the harsh reality of life. A young child of 12 years living in the comfort of his home, having a good family, being very well taken care of, it, you compare the same child with one who is on the streets, who does not have a proper house, whose parents might be there working on the streets, the rag pickers, or maybe as daily wages. Their childhood is going to be different. And maybe they did not have a childhood, that they lost their innocence. Why? Because for them, living every day is a struggle for survival. So it is, there are circumstances determine the kind of attitude we have towards life, right? So sometimes life throws us these lessons that we become mature earlier. Or sometimes we never mature. So when we say grow up, that is what we mean. That be a little sensible, be a little realistic. Okay. But yes, you have your innocent moments. You have these little joys of childhood, which no one can ever take away from you. But what are those experiences that happen in life that make you realize that I am not a child anymore? It's not only about the physical changes we're talking about. It's much more than that, okay? And yes, here, yeah, according to the poet, he thinks that, is it when you are, what? Uh, you've crossed 12 years of age, you're no longer a child. Is it, can we say there is a specific age in our life? No. What decides it? Our circumstances, our life, our experiences, right? Yes, yeah, so here, when did my childhood go? When is asking, is there a year of your life? So we assume 18, oh yeah, I'm an adult. Are you really? Are we ready for the responsibilities? Isn't it? So that is there, you know, like, of course, we are still not grown up enough or responsible enough or sensible enough or mature enough. Was it the day I ceased to be 11? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? So, right, so when I was no longer 11, was it when I stopped, uh, you know, like being innocent? Or was it when I realized so fairy tales that you have read about? So what are the fairy tales about? What do you read in fairy tales? We don't read? Do you read Hornbill only? Okay, right. Yes, so right, even about hell and heaven, as you grow up, you've taught, you know, moral values about kindness and goodness and sharing, right? And yes, someone is still talking. Who's that? Hell and heaven, yes. So we are taught here, you have to be good. You should not hurt others. You should not lie and cheat. And uh, the surprising thing is that we have heard about hell and heaven so much in our life. But when we study, you know, like uh, the syllabus, we do our subjects, we have never found it anywhere mentioned in our syllabus. So when this uh, realization when you're able to think, you're able to connect things. That is when you feel that, okay, I am not a child anymore. And this is a process of growing up. As I said, it does not happen overnight. Little experiences that you come across, that is what changes you. Khushi, please get up from there. Come here. Thank <laughs> you. 
<coughs> when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized <clears throat> that adults were not all they seemed to be? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? Once again, about human behavior. <clears throat> when you realize something bad in my throat. <coughs> so like, yes, sir. Looking at you also, I wonder how many of you are as uh, innocent as you pretend to be? None. None. So each one of you is trying to be very clever, very smart, right? But the funniest part is we know that you are trying to be clever and smart. And sometimes we let you enjoy that moment. Okay, fine. Have fun. Isn't it? But the reality is, yes, class, quiet. It is when you realize the people around you. They talk nicely, they behave nicely, right? They tell you big uh, stories about moral values, but in real life, in practice, they are not that. Wait a minute, please. 